Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Although I'm wrong again, it's good afternoon. Time now is, uh, oh, three minutes till one o'clock. Our time here in Texas, at Pilot Point Community Center. And it's great to be with you. And for those of you who always see me laying down, I'm up in my wheelchair. I can't move my legs or I'd do a high kick for you. But that's another story for another day. Okay, sweetheart. It sounds like maybe I'll be getting put back in the bed pretty soon, so that's always fun. Maybe. <laughs> maybe not. I might be in here till 1.30 or so. We'll just have to see. Temperature was all right this morning. And you know, I've been trying really hard to be good. And I did say something earlier that probably got me up. Got any trouble? What? Oh, really? I'm like, I've got it. I'm trying so hard to be good. Huh? This being good. Got to pick up the trays. Well, if nobody knew it, they'd think I was just a doll. <laughs> oh, me, oh, my. <coughs> I am just a lonely little boy. I can't get my door shut. It's over there. I'm over here. It takes me a while to roll over there. I need certain things to roll over there. So we're just going to have to play by ear. My brother and mother came up today. It's Wednesday. And, uh, my brother brought his friend Kevin up here, and uh, that was good for Kevin. I guess he was interested in coming up. And so, uh, All good, all around. yesterday but it didn't shave just real well I don't believe that girl's ever 
wife said that she'd do everything for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. We can just sit here and listen to the heartbeat of America. Yeah. Places are hopping today. They're putting in new flooring. And when they get to my room, we're going to have a hell of a hard time. I'm not looking forward to that at all. No. But they also, they clip my toes. Cause they, I can't bend over to get to my toes. No. So, so much for that. I'll try to call Ricky. Hey, Rick, what's going on? I'm redoing some damn wet back work. Okay. They use a new cardboard baffle to keep the insulation from going into the carnage. And that's not the problem. The problem is, is I left the crown in, right? And I tilted it down and I cleaned it up. So with a sheetrock man I just talked to, all he had to do was slide his sheetrock. He got about an inch and a half up and over this uh, crown, and then all I had to do was push it up and resecure it. Maybe take a block and tap it. I don't know. But anyway, these guys put these cardboard baffles in, and they stapled them to my fucking crown. So the drywall can't go up and over it, and when it does, I mean, it probably could have gone up and over it, but they stapled it to the edge, it wouldn't go up tight against the drywall, therefore I couldn't seal it up. And some of them, like this one I'm fixing to look at, it's kind of like a U, right? Kind of like a, a U or a J, and so it'll keep the sheet off from going up and over it. No, right? boy. What are you going to... I'm going down through here pulling the bottoms up, taking my little screwdriver and pulling the staples out. Because I'm going to have to get the screwdriver out and get the bottom off and then Huh. 
Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Pay for nothing is what we're doing. Paying for nothing. <sighs> I would have preferred to use the old timey ones, the styrofoam baffles we used to put in. But you know damn well when these she rock hairs come in here, they're not going to pull this stuff out of the way. And I'm looking at two of them where the cardboard's hanging over the crowd about a half inch into the finished area. So your sheetrocker thinks he's done. No, he ain't even started. I was he's supposed to stop Friday. And so I've been cleaning up and uh, getting everything ready. Getting my tools up, finished the last couple of things that I had to do, except for that one air return. But that's all up in the attic. That's not, that's the return. It's already got the boxes in place. All I got to do is make the pipe connection and put the plenum on the back of the unit. So I can do all that without, you know, worrying about the drywall, because that's all up in the attic. <coughs> Although that's what I was fixing the start on when I took the strings down and seen that they had uh, put these cardboard baffles in incorrectly. Yeah, it sounds like you got yourself a little bit of a problem. Well, I'm just finishing the one side now. Uh, I got one down staple. I can't get my fire features on. Well, I just finished one side. Now I gotta go to the other side of the church. It's 66 feet from front to back wall. you made yourself a little walkway in there? No, this is leftover lumber. Oh, boy. I got to get it out of here. I got to get everything off the floor that I can for the drywall hangers. So I was picking up my tools and then I had some strings run across the ceiling where the... Uh, Lights went. I'm still going to leave the one in the middle because I got one showing the exact middle of the building, front and back. I got it. I found the very center 
I want to tell him to pull his reference line off that, whatever he chucks the line and starts. Because with a, see, about 20 feet near the end here is where they did an addition. And for some reason, they put a one inch offset in it. Instead of stripping the wall, they put a one inch offset in it. Probably what it looks like is the old part, the first original part of the church, probably made out of uh, rough sawn lumber. Yeah. So rough sawn is actual two inches by four inches. And then the dimensional lumber, when they built this, was probably three and a half. So there's a good half inch, three quarter offset in this wall. And underneath the church, there's a foundation there, so... They had it on there, and then there was another foundation. They had it on to this church two times after they built it. Yeah. Well, I just called to say hi. I... Hi? Hi. I wish it was. <laughs> yeah. Instead of just getting on a ladder. Yep, moving the ladder around. Well. I only got a half done, but I'm already wore out. Yeah. Well, you take care of yourself, and I'll get back with you a little later. All right, if you want to. Okay, see you later. All right, bye. Bye. Hey. How's it going? It's going good, Evan. Good, good. Uh, except for the fact that 